Shalom, Israel. It's your boy, New Breed. Coming through with another video. Welcome to another motivational talk. It's a gray and gloomy day out here in Atlanta, GA. It's actually raining. But you know how we do it. We got to have these daily motivational talks. Rain, sleet, or snow. What I wanted to talk about today is respecting the process. That's right, respecting the process. Your day is coming. Y'all got to hang in there. Your day is coming. Now, this video is predominantly geared towards those individuals who are beginning to become enlightened. The veil is being lifted. You're gaining a heightened sense of what's going on around you. You're absorbing information. You're gaining understanding. This video is for you because the next step is the change. Create the narrative for your life. And it's a process to all of this. And I want to talk about that process. Um, often there's people who get a lot of understanding, get a, a lot of knowledge. But even those people don't change the course of their life. In fact, a lot of people in general don't change, ladies and gentlemen. There's only a very select few compared to the rest of the world who actually change. And I'm going to put it out there. One of the most vigorous challenges that you will ever face in life is the change. A lot of people find it very difficult because, listen, it takes a great deal of courage to walk your own walk, talk your own talk, and be who it is that you're supposed to be, walking in your purpose. It takes a great deal of courage because often when you become enlightened, when you begin to awaken from this matrix, you'll begin to face the persecutions, the challenges. You'll begin to be ostracized, criticized. And you know, people are naturally turned against you. It's like you open Pandora's box. And so I got to make videos like this to keep us motivated in this fight. Often, we use the terminology woke. And I myself even use the term woke. Because there's definitely a great deal of hibernation taking place here in this realm that we dwell in. Matter of fact, people are just downright in comas these days. So sometimes you got to give people a wake up call. But the reality of the situation is none of us are really woke. We all are a part of an awakening. And that's what it is. Because listen, not to go in over your heads. But you're not truly woke unless you're in the afterlife. See, this realm you dwell in is a simulation. It's a test. It's to prepare you for the real reality, which is life after death. That's when you are really woke. And some of y'all going to be shocked and appalled to find out what's on the other end of this life you live in. And right now we're just being tested. We're being chastised. We're being molded like clay to become the perfect beings, incorruptible. And that's what we're preparing for, the afterlife. But not to divert from my original basis, but, you know, we are all a part of this awakening. And there's a process to it. You got some individuals who gain a great deal of knowledge and they only seek the acclaim. They seek to be venerated by other people they want to be revered by other people but they don't really dig from the inside out and really begin to change the course of their lives if anything you learn allows you to stay on the same course that you've been walking then you haven't you haven't changed and that's what we got to realize and anything we do has to have a set of rules it has to have a set of laws you know we have to do things in order in decency and um, what I wanted to talk about is the process because there's a balance to it all. You have some people who continue to live the same life. They're not motivated to really empower themselves and change. Um, they're afraid to fight their personal demons. They're afraid to look themselves in the mirror and really deal with their own vices. And they stay the same. And then you have others often who don't really have balance to it. Once they learn the truth, 
they tend not to have the balance and they they expect the change to happen overnight the change doesn't happen overnight ladies and gentlemen there's a process to it all according to the holy bible the scriptures say the steps of a good man are ordered by god the steps of a good man are ordered by god now when you look at that word steps that shows a process that shows stages that shows progression imagine walking up a stairway you can even fall down that, those stairs the bible also says the righteous can fall seven times and get back up again so that shows you the process the the whole idea is to continue to get back up and keep on fighting this fight keep on enduring to the end that's what it's all about so there are situations where we make mistakes in our journey and our walk and you got some people who are so hard on themselves that they will stop their journey because listen they are so afraid of failing they'll stop trying and those are the people who go right back into the same ways and they'll start living the same life because they felt like the battle was too rough no you got to understand there's a process nothing happens overnight every man breathing is fighting some people dealing with alcoholism some people dealing with marijuana addiction some people dealing with porn um porn addiction whoredom whoremongering but the whole idea is to continue to build you want to you want to stay in the fight you don't want to give up you want to keep pushing forward it's a process to it all because your day is coming if you can continue to fight against the flesh because the battle of the flesh is a battle to the death all right you're going to always fight against your flesh but if you continue to fight that good fight your day is coming it may even be the day of reckoning the day of judgment when you look up and say listen everything that i faced every obstacle every challenge every personal demon every vice that came up against me i fought it i overcame i kept pushing i did not give up on myself and see you know the most high god is going to judge us on our overall works in this life our overall path we're going to get graded on a scale you understand it ain't going to be like something one thing you did wrong is going to send you to hell if that's the case everybody be burning in hell you understand so it's definitely building blocks a lot of people ask me how do you face your own vices and personal demons you got to keep on building respect the process you know what i'm saying and i found it necessary to speak on this because we got to have balance moving forward in this life and understanding who we are and just continue to be creatures of adaptation continue to be light bearers and continue to really walk that narrow path because listen the moment that you became enlightened all of the all of the demonic forces started coming at you full fledged your own personal demons they tried to eat you alive from the inside out so i understand how tough this battle is but only the strong survive only the strong survive and y'all got to keep that in mind so respect the process but don't continue to sin that grace may abound you understand and this life right here is just a test they say life is but a dream and that slogan is real so what you preparing for is life after this you want to become right here on this earth because you don't want to continue doing what's wicked and end up falling for your wickedness you un you understand you don't want to continue to do something to your own vessel or your own energy your own essence that's going to have you destroyed at the end you understand so it's a this is about overcoming this is not about continuing to do wickedness and go out here and just make excuses no cuz people who really change they don't make excuses they continue progressing a lot of us we're not the same people as we were last year some of us not even the same people we was last month and that's a good thing but then you have other people most people they don't change at all there's a lot of old fools out there and there's a lot of young fools who are future old fools 
So you don't want to fall in those categories. You also don't want to fall into the category of the person who has learned all this knowledge and you're only seeking a claim for yourself. You're only seeking to be revered, but your fruits are not producing any works. You're not helping others. You're not trying to do what's right. You understand? So that's what it's all about. Hopefully this message helped you out. If it did, make sure you mash that thumbs up button. Um, I will make this announcement one more time. For those who don't know, I will be in Montego Bay, Jamaica from March 12th to March 18th. I look forward to meeting the brothers and sisters there. We are creating a spiritual retreat for all you brothers and sisters out there watching. And um, this will be one of many trips to Jamaica. And it'll be great works done there. And I look forward to meeting all the brethren. Hopefully this video helped you out in your walk and your journey. If so, make sure you mash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Shalom and peace.